Welcome back to Howl's TV Live. I'm Rick Spence, and with me today is Sarah Haddon with CGNS Design out of beautiful Austin, Texas. And she's going to be sharing one of her client homes. This is a beautiful modern farmhouse. So many great things here, and a really awesome ADU. Lot to get to. So thanks for joining us, Sarah. I know CGNS has so many followers, so many likes. Uh, really a force on Howe's. So it's uh, it's great to have you. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about these clients, uh, family, they have kids. What were some of the objectives for this remodel? Yeah, so they do, they have two kids, late middle school, early high school age. The rooms were very traditionally separated off. The dining room was separate. The kitchen was separate. The living room didn't really have connection to the rest of the home. They really just wanted to open it up and have connection between someone that's in the kitchen and someone that's in the dining room and in the living room. Um, and take advantage of the, the views of the property. They are not native Austinites. They moved here from Missouri. They wanted the opportunity to host family. So that's where the guest house came into play, come and stay for an extended period of time and have their own space. Yeah, the property is just amazing. What a great time to be able to rebuild because the, full, the whole family can really take advantage of the home. Right. I mean, it's so great. So let's hop into the kitchen and sort of the dining area, the living space. Why don't we start in the kitchen with some of the big choices? So let's talk about balancing that, you know, design with kid friendly. Yeah, they also have dogs. They have two German shepherds. And so part of the whole material palette was to make it kid friendly, make it dog friendly, make it family friendly. They really wanted hardwood floors throughout. And we ended up doing a concrete porcelain tile, very specifically picked grout that would sort of disappear. We picked the, the actual color of the tile so that dog hair, dog dog scratches, all that stuff. It was sort of impre impenetrable to that, easy to clean. I'm fascinated by the floor because I, I'm not sure I've seen a floor that looks that good, that emulates yeah. wood in such a way. Like, not, I yeah. wouldn't have guessed tile. I wouldn't have guessed a yeah. tile. Also, with it being directly adjacent to the pool, if people are coming in and out, you know, getting in and out of the pool, they wanted to be able to just sort of mop it up really quickly. Let's go into the some of the bigger choices in the kitchen as well. Sure. So countertop wise, they did want something that was low maintenance. They wanted something that emulated the sort of natural marble countertops, but they didn't want to use the natural marble because of the fact that it stains pretty easily. And so we did a quartz product emulates the, the Carrera marble. Pretty chunky island, right? How, how large are those drawers and storage in there? Are they, are they oversized as well? Well, they are. Um, they're not too oversized, but they, that is where they have the majority of their functional items in the kitchen. On the side of the island that faces the range, that's where all of the pots and pans are. It's where all their day-to-day -day dishes are and everything as well. And so they really just wanted easy access. The sink is actually in the, the original location of the sink, and it also backs up to the outdoor kitchen. You know, you could stand the, at the sink, do your dishes, whatever, but also have a view outside to see what's going on, uh, you know, in the pool deck, keep an eye on the kids if they're swimming, and then also give, you know, nice light and access out to the pool deck as well. Really nice. The The lighting's very minimal. I've seen different kitchens. Some people are going kind of crazy oversized. You went very minimal, very simple. Tell me about the lighting in the space. They weren't interested in big statement pieces over the island. We do have um, a decorative picture that's over the dining table. In the kitchen itself, they really just wanted functional lighting. They wanted to be able to see what they were doing if they were the, in their kit cooking or entertaining. Um, and we didn't really want to detract from the view, especially if you're standing in the kitchen looking towards the breakfast room. You also have the panoramic view out the back of the house of the green belt behind. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. You don't want to get in the way of that. And you really have art. The windows are sort of like your art in the space as well, Absolutely. right? You're just looking, <laughs> you're looking at a beautiful vista yeah. pretty much at all times, or maybe your kids in the pool or whatever, but it's just like, you could just sit there and just kind of look out the window and yeah. it's fantastic. Let's talk a little bit about the dining and the beautiful table there. You could have Thanksgiving around that table. That was one of their goals too, to be able to see not only their, their family of four, but friends and family that, that, would come to stay with them 
for an extended period of time all around the same table. So. What, a, what a beautiful spot to sit there and, you know, you can look out the windows. In, t in terms of window coverings, is there an automatic shade or something that can come down? Or how, how does that work? Or, or is it necessary in that space? It's not really necessary. Their property is very private. They have enough trees behind the house that they don't, that, you know, it's not sort of baking the, the right. house. Right. Briefly, while we're on the, the topic of sun and some other things, this home uh, has a metal roof, mm -hmm. right? It was, and that was part of the remodel, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Yes. So with rain and all that stuff that happens in Austin, how do you deal with the, the sound and that? Is it insulated in a different way? So it kind of can mitigate the sound and how does yeah, that work? So there's several different ways you can do a metal roof. We do have attic space be between the bedrooms on the second level and the roof. So that provided a little bit of sound attenuation there as well. But you can install sound attenuation material between a metal roof and the sheathing of the roof, but you'll never get rid of it entirely. So if you're going to do a metal roof on a house, you're always going to have more of the sound of rain when it is raining than you would on a typical, you know, asphalt shingle home. Metal roofs tend to stand up better to the elements here, just aesthetically for this project in particular. Um, I think it was the right choice. Yeah. While we're on the exterior, tell me about the stone. That's a stone you commonly see in Texas from Texas quarries. Yes, yes. It's Texas limestone. Yes. And that was actually original to the house when we started the renovation. So we were able to luckily match it for the guest house and the pool deck and everything as well. So it's, the, the space looks very cohesive, um, but it was it was original. To the home. So let's go into um, the living area a little bit and mm -hmm. tell me about the flow here and some of the choices in this living space adjacent to the kitchen and the dining. This living area was intended for, you know, a conversation area. It was not important to them to have a TV there. They wanted it to be sort of just an area that was connected to the dining room and the kitchen. So when they're entertaining, you could have a seating group there. People could still see what's going on in the kitchen and the dining room. And again, just taking advantage of the, of the beautiful view. All right, so let's step outside. This is a, a big part of this property and embracing this beautiful space. Wow. You know, so was any of this here? Was it was any of this here? The stone, this pool, like what what was this no. before? Was this just a blank slate? It was a undeveloped hillside. And they, you know, with their dogs and their kids and everything, they they really wanted some horizontal surface to for the for the kids to play in, for the dogs to run around in. And so part of what we did with the landscaping as well was terrace down so that they did have some additional lawn space on the back of the house because previously you walked out the back doors and there was, you know, maybe a five foot deep wood deck and then it just sort of dropped <laughs> down to the creek. So let's talk about this beautiful outdoor space. Great pool. You've got the horizontal green belt, so you can play on that. You've got views. Mm -hmm. Tell me about some of the materials and, and choices here and, and give me a feel for this. Yeah, so we really wanted to make it look like a very cohesive space. So um, we used a similar limestone on the pool deck um, as well as on the guest house. We have some natural cedar beams to sort of tie everything together. The main point of being out there is really to enjoy the view and the, you know, the beautiful green belt. And so everything we did sort of focuses your attention out <laughs> um, and it just creates a nice warm environment for you know, people to spend time out there. If that's not enough, now there's an amazing, beautiful ADU here that is just a really beautiful space as well. They might have guests spend the night. It's a one bedroom with a living space, and then it mm -hmm. and then it sort of connects. You can walk directly out to the pool. So it's essentially, hey, here's your vacation home. <laughs> Visit with us or not, we're in the other yeah. house. You know, it's 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 so nice to have that separation for guests. This is what uh, about a thousand square feet or so of living it's, space. 
Yeah, I think it's just under a thousand square feet. Downstairs in the guest house, there is the bedroom and a full bath down there as well. And when family aren't visiting, they actually use it as a space for the kids to hang out. So that living area that has the wet bar and the beverage center and everything in it with the TV, that's also sort of their gaming area. The kids can sit there and play video games and jump in the pool. And then, you know, it's a space for them to have a little bit of privacy, but also the, the, the parents can keep an eye from the main house and, and make sure that they're not getting into trouble. <laughs> yeah, it that's one of the nicest kid spaces I've ever seen in my life. So <laughs> <All right. laughs> it's like, yeah, but yeah. it's also very, I mean, I feel very strongly that you shouldn't have a part of the home, your home that's only used periodically. Right. So to have that double function of having a guest space, but also have it be a kid zone is really important. I hope the kids don't just watch TV in there or play games. Today. <laughs> I hope they actually appreciate how beautiful that space is. They might not, but eventually they will. Yeah. The, yeah. um, Tell me a little bit about the ceiling height in there. It's pretty sizable and you have some nice, you know, beams in there and that kind of thing. Being able to bring as much natural light into the space as possible was important. And also to make the the guest house feel like it has been there the entire time, sort of matching the architecture of the main house, the sloped roofs and high ridges was important. Tell me what it feels like when you design a space for a family that you know is really going to get used. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's that's probably one of the most beneficial things of being, being a designer and architect, especially in the residential world, is to end up with something that you know is going to be in, the, in their family for a long time, that they can make use of, that really tailors their home to their personalities and to their likes and dislikes. I'm very lucky to be able to <laughs> to do projects. Like Absolutely. Well, this has been a real treat. I hope we get to do this again. And, and thank you for taking the time to show us this project and congrats. Thank you so much. It was fun. All right. We'll be in touch. See you. Bye-bye.